what I'm hearing is I need to buy a grill. Oh man, I well, that's what I'm I should hearing. say. I bought one for Nick so he can grill for me. I'm gonna buy. A grill I know now. how to turn it on, <laughs> but I'm not <laughs> that like. That scares me. It's like <laughs> it is a little frightening. Welcome to Bus Mob TV. In the spirit of living our life with intention, me and Greta Nance found some time in our day to pause, grab some coffee, and chat about what's going on inside Bus Mob. We'll answer some questions, spend some time with a special guest, and share ways to be more intentional in your daily life. Hop on in. Let's go. And we're back. <laughs> Hello. Hello. 40. Oh my gosh. Welcome episode 40. to episode 40. Who would have thought? We made it. But we wanted to tell you what's going on in Bus Mob this week. Mm-hmm. There was a really cool thread going about like, show us your favorite boudoir photos. And that's happened here and there. But this one had like almost 400 comments. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't just women with their after photos. It was also like women who haven't had their breast dogs yet. And they still wanted to show their photos because they felt sexy. And mm-hmm. I love that. Yeah. I, I've done it twice. Mm-hmm shockingly waited to like I, I mean I feel like 10 years ago it was not it was a weird thing to do yeah I could see that. and now it is like the most mm. fun coolest talked about people are proud they put it on their wall <laughs> they, <laughs> they make do. books out of them like that was one of the most empowering experiences of my life yeah I loved seeing everyone's I've only done it one time I believe mm-hmm. and it was 10 years ago it was mm-hmm. after I got my same time to plan. do it again yeah yeah because you really I... should it's really it's like fun it is fun yeah Yep, I'm going to do it again. Yep. Along with the seatbelt challenge. After she does the seatbelt <laughs> challenge that, that she still has not done I'm after do the last it. episode. I just need to find a tank top so it makes it easier because I can't whip it out in this shirt. <laughs> so if you haven't had a boudoir photo shoot, whether you've had a breast dog or not, you should totally do it because it is super empowering. Yeah. You know what we should do? We should like stage our own too. You know what I mean? Like I was together? like, if you don't, they, well, no, no, no. <laughs> that would be weird. That would um, be weird. They're expensive. They I mean, expensive. They, you pay some money to do it. So... Like, I could see myself trying to gather some things from my closet and put a photo timer on and do some <laughs> kind of crazy, fun glitter fan oh, whole thing. So. Yeah. Have you seen the nipple things that are like Oh, my tools? God. Yes. I think those are beautiful. Very pretty. I think I would do that with a boudoir. Very pretty. Butter like, shoot. stick on booby tassels. Yes. Kind of. Except they don't tassel. No. Are you ready? Mm. I like to scare you oh, when you're about to mouth. drink coffee. <laughs> I'm sorry. Because, I, you know, I'm excited. I love the Q&A session. I do, too. So, we've got a great question that I personally probably get in my DMs 10 times a day. Oh, so let's hear it. please help me. All right. I'm interested in getting a mommy makeover, but I don't know what to do next. Any suggestions? Yeah. yeah. It's incredibly overwhelming. Yes. For some reason, like breast dog seems simple and most surgeons recommend mm-hmm. the same things and there's a ton of resources, but mommy makeover you right away start, do I need a full or a mini yeah. lipo? But what's lipo 360? Yeah. But do I want do breast I, implants? So I just want can I do them all at the same time? Yeah. And I, I swear there's the most contradictory information out there about mommy makeovers mm-hmm. than any surgery. Yeah. So help a sister out. All right, sisters. Well, here's what I would do. So when it comes to a mommy makeover, it can be completely different for everyone. Like your mommy makeover can be different than mine. So the best way to start is to figure out what it is you need to get to your goals. And mm-hmm. the best way to find out is through an orientation. And you can actually download our Bus Mob Academy app and watch an orientation on mommy makeovers, body orientation, breast orientation, whatever tickles mm-hmm. your fancy. But for your question, go straight to the mommy makeover orientation because you're gonna learn the basics of a mommy makeover so that you know what to then go deep dive and research next. Mm -hmm. You'll also like understand the terms because I think that's a confusing one. I have a lot of women be like diastasis. Like I heard that in my consultation. (laughs) Mm -hmm. If you didn't know what that was, Mm -hmm. you would probably sit there and spin about what this Mm -hmm. is. But going in with like the vocabulary basics is super helpful Mm -hmm. to a lot of women. And then you'll understand modern tummy tuck or what drains are or what a Mm -hmm. mini is versus a full, like you have a much better understanding. Yes. And you can download the Bus Mom Academy app on Apple or Android. It's totally free. And you can watch tons of videos. You can watch orientations. There's Goal Finder in there where you can actually like put in your stats and find someone that looks similar to you. So you can kind of get an idea of what your mommy makeover could look like. So definitely download that. It's super helpful and it's free. Got a great skincare question for you. Well, skincare. Mm. To me, skincare is everything involving the right face. here. So it could be filler, <laughs> it could be wrinkle relaxers, but or skincare. But from the Bus Mob Skincare Group, this is a very hot topic. It just my phone just went to sleep. Hot topic. Um, but there are some great before and after photos mm. of other ladies in there who have had this done. So let's hear. I think I think you have had it done. Let's, what is the question? Oh, let's I'm excited. Ready? I am very 
interested in getting under eye filler. Are there any risks that I should be aware of? Great question. Did you did you do it? I did not. Oh, I, I needed it. Okay. But they said let's start by like building up your cheeks yes. to see if that smooths it out. And that that little lift was just enough to where it's I'm not quite to tear trough filler yet, but yeah. I'm getting there. Yeah. <laughs> to me the goal should be like it is an awesome option. It mm-hmm. sounds insane. Like to me, like, like right here. let's put a needle around this area. <laughs> but even some very young people mm-hmm. have kind of this fat loss area, which causes like what looks like dark circles, but mm-hmm. it's more shadowing. Yeah. And so if you fill it up, you remove the shadow and make this area look a lot smoother. Shadow. Um, because you also don't move that area as much, filler wise here only lasts, you know nine to 12 months, Mm -hmm. a lot of people find they can get two years plus out of a little bit of filler right here. Sign me up. But there are some Mm trade-offs. So I think Jessie talked to Claire this week. Yes, she did a live She is an amazing nurse injector Mm -hmm. at Amelia St. Louis, Mm -hmm. and they talked about the specific topic. Oh, let's hear it. Is it risky to get under eye filler? And if it is, why? Any injectable procedure has its risks. With under eye filler specifically, Yes, it can be risky, just like any filler. A patient interested in filler, especially under eye filler, is to always start with a consultation. Um, And within that consultation, make sure that the injector you're going to is um, really experienced in injectable fillers, especially experienced in under eye injectable fillers. Make sure that they explain the risks to you. Um, everyone's going to have a little bit of a different risk, um, just based on their, uh, background. Um, but as long as you're familiar with your risks going into the procedure, um, I think that's most important. And then the last thing is, um, make sure your injector is using FDA approved fillers, um, hyaluronic acid based fillers, um, and that they can be dissolved. Um, so as long as that can be reversed, that is pretty much your key. Yeah, I love that Jesse like takes a lot of questions mm-hmm. out of the skincare mm-hmm. group and goes and finds an expert if she can't answer it to help us all understand this a little better. Yeah, and if you're in the main group, go check out the skincare subgroup because it's really really helpful for everything right here. <laughs> like I am not an expert and I get in there and I learn a lot too. And thanks to Bus Mom Jesse, like her lives on Instagram, she'll even yeah. take them and put them in the Facebook group so you mm-hmm. can check that out there. Yeah, I think I mean, I love looking at boobs. And tummies and all the surgical before and afters. But it's really cool Mm -hmm. seeing some of these cutting edge things that you can do to just slightly tweak your face a little bit if you want. And tear trough filler or under eye Mm -hmm. filler could be a really good one for you. Mm -hmm. So this week on Bus Mobs Brunch Club that we do every single week on Bus Mobs Instagram, we talked about nutrition tips. Yes, we did. And specifically what it meant for me and her and what tips that we brought to you guys. And they were completely different, which mm-hmm. is so helpful. Mm-hmm. And for me, it was budgetbites.com. Mm-hmm. Budget is my least favorite word. It is. And it's funny because you even pointed it out. Like I was combining my finance yeah. wheel of life yeah. with my nutrition wheel of life. Yep. It's like a trifecta yep. budget bites. You can go to the website and you can actually like, it shows you how much each serving costs. Mm-hmm. You can hit um, basically add ingredients and it'll curate everything you click into a grocery list. Oh, like, that's really cool. Yeah. How many onions? Like if I click three soup recipes, it'll combine it. Hmm. Like your exact, what you need to go get. And mm-hmm. I'm like, first it saves me on time. So I don't have to like write it out. Like, okay, one, two, three, four mm-hmm. onions. Um, And it's also very cheap and thrifty. And Mm -hmm. it has like soups. It has vegetarian. It has gluten-free options. It has all of the things you could think of. And I was actually on it yesterday for soup recipes. And that's when I found out you can, you can like lump together all of your ingredients at one time. And I'm like, this is so helpful. That is really cool. Yeah. It's my favorite. We spend a lot of time and money and energy planning Mm -hmm. and cooking and then eating and then dealing with the leftovers. (laughs) So I feel like both you and I have been putting more emphasis on this, Mm -hmm. at least I have over the last year, to make it a little less crazy and more doable. Mm -hmm. So I've gotten more into that routine of like one time a week, meal planning, Mm -hmm. and then grocery shopping that same day, and then prepping some of it all on a Sunday. I never did that before, Mm -hmm. and everything felt chaotic. I never knew what I was eating more than two days later. Mm -hmm. 
it is harder to plan for seven days at a time. With all the children, too. But, my God, I do not want to go to the grocery store more than one time a week. I don't either. Maybe two at the very most. Ugh. So, I still use Pinterest hey, my side hurt quite heavily. It. I used to go, like, four, four times a week, though, easily. Um, this has been so much better. I know I save money that way. Um, I use Pinterest mm-hmm. a lot for saving our, like, favorite recipes and then having them all that. kind of separated into, hey, tonight we're going to cook with the air fryer. What are my favorite air fryer recipes? Things like that. Like, so I have, like, soups, crock pot, air fryer, grill. Like, if it's nice out that week, I totally look at the weather when I'm meal planning, too. Like, depending on... I'm I not gonna, love that. I, all, I bring out all the resources, it- sit with Nick, and I'm like, let's... This day is crazy, so we will want sandwiches. (laughs) Or (laughs) tonight, I'm like, I'm home earlier today, and Ty has like a high school kickoff thing, and he wanted enchiladas. Oh, me too. Yeah, I like, I have a little more time, but yesterday was sandwiches. So (laughs) planning out, sticking with it, getting your whole family involved Mm -hmm. has been helpful. And then also, I love following the Instagram hashtags. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I just, it really is whatever you want more of in your Mm -hmm. life, go to the top of Instagram, put in the hashtag and follow it. Because then as I'm scrolling, I'm reminded about the positive things. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So if I said like marriage tips is one of mine, Mm -hmm. healthy recipes, dinner ideas. Okay. There's my mom. There's a dog. There's a TikTok. (laughs) Oh, there's a recipe. There's my mom. There's a dog. There's a TikTok. (laughs) There's a marriage tip. You know, it's Uh a really nice way to get fed things that you've told the universe you Mm -hmm. want more of. And I get some great recipes from Instagram. I like how your Pinterest boards are set up from like air fryer to like slow cooker. I don't know if Mm -hmm. you said that. Or Instapot and grilling. That's really, I've never thought of even organizing a board like that. Yeah. And I have like a Nance favorites, Mm -hmm. like ones the kids have said, make this again. Because weirdly, two days later, I can't remember. They're like, what was that thing you made? I'm like, I have no idea what (laughs) you're talking about. Like, I already don't remember. So if I don't go right away and go... This is a fan favorite. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, follow my Pinterest board. I totally need to keep adding things. Mm -hmm. Like, don't judge me. It's not (laughs) vegan or vegetarian or keto or necessarily healthy, but I try to be balanced. I like that. So what I'm hearing is I need to buy a grill. Oh, man. I Well, I should say I bought one for Nick so he can grill for me. I'm going to buy a grill. I know how to turn it on. (laughs) But I'm not (laughs) like... That scares me. It's like... It is a little frightening, um, but we grill at least once a week, I love if grilling. not twice a week, I and anything, but... big fan. We have come to our end, mm-hmm. so if you want to learn more about Mommy Makeovers, make sure you download Bus Mom Academy and watch one of our orientations. Mm-hmm. If you have eye bags, eye bags, hop into the skincare subgroup, ask questions, get comfortable with it. Mm-hmm. There are lots of women in there with before and afters, which mm-hmm. makes it really, really easy to like know, is this for me? Is this not for me? Mm-hmm. And... What was the last one? <laughs> the brunch Club. We talked well, oh. We talked about Brunch Club. We talked about a lot of different resources when brunch it comes club. to that. But we're always trying to investigate things that make our lives better, a.k.a. hopefully your lives yeah. better, and you learn from us and we learn from mm-hmm. you. So that's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Bus Mobs IG. Instagram. So we'll see you on Monday at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time for Brunch Club. Otherwise... We'll see you in the next episode. Yep. Time to get back to work. Yep. Yeah, go. See you in Bus Mob. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. To join Bus Mob, shop for swag, or follow me and Greta on social, click the links below. See you next time.